So it's the NBA draft, a chance for teams to find a transcendent player, or maybe just a diamond in the rough. But before we dive into this, we have some things to discuss, and we're going to start with Yusuf Nurkic. Look, he's a good dude, okay? He's got nice hair, and he's definitely progressed with us as this series has gone on, but it's become pretty apparent at this point that he's an offensive center who's a decent rebounder, but he's not really a defender whatsoever, okay? And he's just not quick enough, not athletic enough. He doesn't have enough stamina to really be effective on that side of the floor. So we could use this draft as a way to improve there. And of course, there's Thon Maker, who is a legit seven feet tall and seems to be the defensive player that we would need, okay? We see here, he's already a great defender in the post, and he just seems to be the type of guy that would be the right contrast to Yusuf Nurkic. However, if we want something more immediate, we could trade the third pick in the draft for Nerland's Noel, who is already a fine defensive player. And of course, Philadelphia would be open to this because they got so many damn players in the front court. They'd be happy to get rid of Noel, I have to imagine. I also believe he could be an effective uh, pick and roll player with Moutier. And this would be the trade as it is, the third pick and Jameer Nelson for Noel. But let me ask you a question about Nerlens. What is he? He's a defensive center who doesn't have much of an offensive game. What's Thon Maker? He's a defensive center who doesn't have much of an offensive game. They're kinda sorta the same player, except Nerlens Noel is a little farther along. So, then I look at Nerlens Noel's salary, what does that say, $14 million a year? So you're telling me that I could have a defensive center for 14 mil, or a defensive center for like 4 mil. Um, I think I'm going to go with Thon Maker, okay? I mean, we're getting a simil similar player to Noel for much cheaper, which gives us then the opportunity to play something in free agency. And I've already mentioned I got my eye on Shabazz Muhammad because he seems to be the scorer that we could use to really help out our wings. I mean, hell, the guy can even score from the post, for God's sakes. Not only that, but when I look at some of the wings we could draft, mainly Josh Jackson, his jumper is so far gone that it's like... I don't even want to commit to that. Like, look at that. Look at that shot close, the mid, the three. Ugh, it's just, it's just ugly. So I think I know what we're going to do. We're going to go with Thon Maker, but first everything else has to fall into place. The Lakers select Jason Tatum. Now, he is the best player in the draft, so I'm not surprised, but at the same time, it's like, they still have Kobe, they got D'Angelo Russell, they got Jordan Clarkson. That's kind of a logjam developing. I don't know if they feel that either Clarkson or Randall should be coming off the bench, or Russell I should say, should be coming off the bench or or whatever. I mean, you can say they definitely have a nice young group growing, but at the same time, those guards are going to get in each other's way. I don't know. Now, for the second pick in the draft, who's Philadelphia going with? You gotta be kidding me, Sixers. You went with a power forward? So their solution to their front court problem is to draft another front court player. Well, okay. Maybe Noel gets traded anyway? I don't know. Okay, he definitely is going to get traded. They offered the Noel for the third pick right here. Well, sorry guys. I'm getting almost the same player, but for considerably cheaper. So, Thon Maker, you're a Denver Nugget. Remember, we're a 42-win team who lucked into the third pick in the draft because of Portland, so uh, this is a hell of a thing for us, okay? And just because it's funny, let's look at some other things that happened in the draft. Wilson Chandler got traded for Kenneth Fareed. That's pretty ironic. Shout out to both of them. And um, Noel ended up going to the Phoenix Suns of all teams. Okay. As for our own guys, we're going to bring pretty much everybody back. Except for Larry Nance Jr. because I don't know how the hell we got him. And now to free agency. No, we're not signing LeBron James. Don't even tell me. The only guy I'm looking at. My man Shabazz right here. Now... If we look at some of the offers he's gotten, eh, they're all pretty reasonable, but he is a restricted free agent, so we're going to have to overpay a little bit. 12 mil a season, it would still give us $18 million in cap space, and um, yeah, I think this, uh, I think he could be the scorer we could use 
But then I say, well, I don't know. I mean, do we believe that Gary Harris or Justin Anderson or, hell, even Brandon Ingram can be the scorer we need at the wing? Or do we go with Shabazz Muhammad? I don't know. There's questions to be answered.